Today, I'm here to review Plus 6 AS. No. I'm sorry, wait. Today, I'm here to review Samsung's Hope 9 Plus. An extremely good looking phone that can scowl and may grant you a one way ticket to the HR if you don't think twice before sending your AR emojis to a co worker in your office. Happy birthday, Barbara. Just like Samsung Note 8, Samsung S9 Plus comes in this beautiful box that doesn't have a shrink wrap. Inside the box you are greeted with usual suspects, guides and SIM slash memory card remover. Underneath that the beautiful S9 Plus that just looks stunning. But how about the most important thing? The sizzle test. That was not bad at all. Me likey. Also you get a fast charging brick, a USB to USB-C converter and the charging cable that supports fast charging. You know, all the things that don't come out of a $1000 iPhone's box. Then you get these AKG headphones and extra ear pieces. Samsung S9 and S9 Plus runs Android 8.0 Oreo. Has Snapdragon 845 octa core 2800 MHz 64-bit 10nm chip, 6GB of RAM, 64GB internal storage. And you can add a memory card up to 400GB. A 3500 mAh battery, 6.2 inch display that has 1440x2960 pixel resolution with the pixel density of 531 ppi and the screen to body ratio is 83.6% has 12 megapixel rear facing camera with two lenses they both have optic image stabilization 26 mm wide angle lens has variable aperture between f1.5 and f2.4 and the telephoto lens is f2.4 as well and it can shoot up to 4K 60 frames per second either in high efficiency format or H.264. Front facing camera is 8 megapixel with f1.7 aperture and the field of view is 80 degrees. It weighs 189 grams. It is IP68 water resistant. It is made from glass and aluminium, supports wireless charging and it has a headphone jack for old people. Uh, okay, that joke was rude okay let me rephrase it and it has a headphone jack for people who still use facebook that was even worse i apologize as you can see when it comes to screen color it is a little bit reddish compared to note 8 but if you want to change that, you can simply go into your screen mode and adjust it yourself here. Also, when I pull this to the warmest side, as you can see, S9 Plus is warmer. And when I pull it to the cool side, Note 8 feels a little bit more bluish. S9 Plus' screen looks gorgeous. But let's not just stand there. Let's zoom into it using Moment's 10x macro lens. It's not easy to tell the difference between Note 8 and S9 Plus, but of course, they are both sharper than iPhone 10. Now when we go into Geekbench, as you can see, it says Cluster 1 and Cluster 2, and in Cluster 1 we have 4 cores that run in 1.77 GHz, which is lower than Note 8. And in the cluster 2, we have 4 cores running at 2.8 GHz, which is higher than Note 8. The high efficiency cores are slower on this one, but high performance cores are faster. So let's see what the result is going to be with Geekbench. S9 Plus' result is much better than Note 8, but still behind iPhone 10. This is Note 8 and, uh, and the face recognition when you're wearing glasses or hat it, it doesn't work it is very basic actually it is interesting a lot of people don't even know that Note 8 
has facial recognition. But on the other hand, Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus works with facial recognition and the iris detection system. Samsung calls this intelligent scan. It basically combines facial recognition with iris scan and as a result it works while wearing sunglasses or in low light just like iPhone 10. Samsung suggests you to keep the phone at least 8 inches away from your face to protect your eyes, asks you not to install unofficial screen protectors, warns that it may damage infant's eyes and if you have epilepsy you better consult with that doctor first. Also asks you not to cut diamond or destroy planets with this feature. Now when it comes to unlocking with face it is pretty fast. Indoors. When you're outdoors it is a little different. And it didn't work. Okay. It says no face detected. Change your position. No face has been detected. Let me take the glass off. Let's take the hat off. No, <laughs> no face has been detected. Of course, with the iPhone, the situation is a lot easier. It gets unlocked immediately. It is unlocked. unlocked and with this it's giving me warnings like hold it far away hold it closer hold it hold phone further away no face has been detected okay let's take these off yes we are in so it's definitely not as good as iPhone, but it is definitely better than Note 8. But since it gives you the fingerprint scanning option, if the facial recognition doesn't work, you can just unlock it with your fingerprint, which is right there, right behind the phone. Now that I'm kind of in the shade, it unlocks, but it takes quite a long time out here. And unlocked. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, come on, seven, eight, and now it's unlocked. When it comes to fooling the face recognition, I wasn't able to fool it with a photo at all, no matter what I do. But just like iPhone 10, I am able to unlock it through the mirror, just like this. Just like that. Let me lock it again. Just like this. Thank you, Aynine. S9 and S9 Plus now has stereo speakers. It uses the earpiece and the speaker together to create the stereo sound. So now let's compare it to Note 8 and iPhone 10. Developers kind of products like Pokemon and so that's the reason you see so many iPhones out in the wild right now chasing Pokemon. What? what? Chasing Pokemon. What? Hi Tim, where you going with a phone in your hand? Uh, chasing Pokemon. Chasing Pokemon. Don't you know you may a fall in the lake? Uh, chasing Pokemon. Even though it is not as loud as iPhone 10, the result is still pretty good. The audio quality is more or less the same as others, but compared to Note 8, having stereo speakers is definitely nicer. S9 and S9 Plus has a new feature called AR Emoji. I don't know why they didn't simply call it R Emoji or AR Emoji, but Never mind. Even though it is very similar to iPhone X's Animoji, it actually creates your own emoji. An emoji that looks like you, 
then you control that emoji with your face. Now I haven't tested this before, I usually test everything before I film, but I didn't want to test this in order to be able to show you my initial reaction. AR emoji. Create my emoji. For best results, remove glasses and clear away hair. Then smile with your lips closed and give it a whirl. And then select gender because I, I think it doesn't want to assume my gender. Next, creating my emoji. <laughs> okay, that's definitely my mustache. Skin tone. I don't want to assume your skin tone. You can adjust your skin tone as you wish. Park. Oh, I want to make myself Tony Northrup. Like my, my muscles are twitching a little bit. I think I'm a little bit upset. And uh, can I record a video with this? Hey, hey, I'm looking at the camera right now. And now I'm crossing my eyes. And so uh, <laughs> I'm, just turn, I'm just turning my head, but my entire body seems to be going with it. Okay. Uh, can I raise my, can you put your hands in the air? Like you just don't care. No, it doesn't care doesn't allow you to put your hand in the air. All right. Eyebrows good. Eyebrow dance like electric boom. No. Okay, stop. And after playing with it for a while, I was able to come up with this. Hi, Dad. Name's Bob. And I like skinny jeans. <laughs> Oh. oh, look at me. <laughs> wow. Whoa. 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 Hi, welcome to Apple Store. Do you have a reservation with us? Yeah? Your phone is broken? Oh, uh, sorry, we don't fix broken phones here. We're just geniuses. I'm feeling extra happy today. Like, more than happy. <laughs> I cannot move my arms, it's like Ace Ventura when he's shot by the tranquilizers. Oop. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. Back to work. Can I have a background? Can I have a background with my... Why can't I have a background with my emoji? Too much CPU work? Well, okay. It is... It is what it is. Which one do you prefer? An emoji or AR emoji? Cast your vote now. Also, as a software feature, Bixby can now identify things. This is... Um, iPhone 6 Plus, all right, let's see what this is then. This is a um, X7S 5-inch quad-core dual-SIM mobile phone from Walmart. And it's only $52. <laughs> so yeah, oh, also the page does not exist. Now let's talk about the camera features. Having a variable aperture is great option. Not just because it gives you more flexibility when you're taking photos under bright light, but also it gives you different depth of field. Pay attention to the tripod's legs on the left. Now I brought this skeleton so we can compare Note 8, S9 Plus and iPhone 10. All right, now let's compare the cameras. At this part, the decision is up to you. Please tell me which phone has the better camera. Now I'm running.
So the Polaroid glasses causes the screen to go dark at this 45 degree -ish angle. I'm gonna try and show it to you. And it gives you 10 minute limit when you're shooting in uh, 4K, 30 frames per second. And if you wanna shoot 4K, 60 frames per second, you can only shoot for five minutes. Note 8 was at 99% and S9 Plus was at 100% when I left. I used S9 Plus a little bit more. As you can see, the battery on Note 8 went down to 83 and on S9 Plus it went down to 78%. So yes, when the camera is turned on, the battery still gets drained really fast. It also has super slow motion where you can shoot 960 frames per second video, but it's a little tricky. The action has to happen in this tiny frame. So let's see. And this is the result. So when it comes to selfie focus, it applies this, this weird blur on my face. But it's not bad, it works fine. Once again, the design, I think they have it down now. The design looks really good. The phone feels really nice in hand. I didn't have much complaint about the fingerprint scan back there, but now that it is down there, it is really easy to reach. I really like the fact that now I can hold this in landscape mode. One of my favorite things on Android is the empty dish and collecting cats. But I haven't checked if this one has something similar. Let's go. All right. Now we have an octopus, see? Now we have an octopus. <laughs> All right. I think this is a Canadian octopus and I can grab it from his head and just drag it around. And is that it? That's it? Or is it a different animal each time? No. It's the same. Oh, frame rate. Come on, frame rate. Now we're talking. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that subscribe button. I must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen. Hit that subscribe button and play Ding Dong Ditch with the bell next to it and join the world domination. And please let me know what you think about Samsung Hope 9 or Hope 9 Plus. Do you like it? Is it worth upgrading from the other phones? Whatever phone you're using right now. Did you like the new features? Please let me know in the comment section below. Okay. Uh. And until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves. And hoşçakalın.